Hey, what's going on guys? Really different video this week, but I decided to do a screencast to let everyone kind of peek inside my computer a little bit. A lot of people have asked what life is like for a software developer and aside from filming someone code for like 48 hours, I thought it'd be pretty cool to just, you know, look inside my desktop. This is my actual computer right now and just see some of my workflow things. Um, if you're a developer, I'm going to go over a couple of productivity tips and tricks or maybe like workflow hacks that I use uh, very often. If you're not a developer or engineer, this video might be completely irrelevant to you. So you can always stop it right now. And this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything. This is just going to be me showing you guys a little bit about inside my computer. All right. And I just realized that this is super live. So there's no editing. All right, so let's just get started with these tips. All right, first thing uh, to do is that anything that you do frequently, you must have hotkeyed. So what I'm doing right now is switching between my desktops, um, minimizing some windows. Uh, you could also show your desktop, but long story short here is that anything that you do very often, you should have it always hotkeyed because it just saves to the milliseconds, like all those milliseconds count, right? So. Another thing to do is you can hotkey applications as well as hotkey uh, your operating system. So these are like changing the windows. Also in Chrome, you should memorize all these hotkeys and go to them appropriately. So just make sure you memorize hotkeys for applications as well as hotkeys for your computer. Next thing to do is that um, everyone should invest in a windowing management tool. I have a Mac, so I use this thing called Better Snap Tool. And pretty much what it does, it helps you manage your windows better. So a lot of the times developers have many windows open all the time. And what this kind of allows you to do is just to do whatever you want uh, with these windows. You could put them in the top left, you know, bottom or right. You could like, you could make these things left, right. You could uh, maximize it. Um, I guess the main thing here is that what you want to do here is save yourself time by not trying to drag and resize these windows all day. If you want to move this windows to a certain location, all you have to do is hotkey it and you can move it to the left side or the right side or keep it up in the corner. All right. So everyone should invest in a window management tool and I have better snap tool, which seems to do the job. Um, another trick that I think would be cool is that every developer, I hope you're using the terminal very often or using some kind of command line tools. Um, I use Bash. Uh, you might use different shell environments, but Bash is just the one I use. My one major recommendation I have here is that, whoops, sorry, that's what I get for no editing. But any command line tools that you have, you should be able to customize it very well. So this is my Bash RC file, which makes a bunch of aliases and customizations to my Bash environment. So. I have a bunch of aliases here. I have a bunch of helper functions for random day-to-day -day tasks like find PID, finds a process ID. Um, it can extract different files. It sets up various environmental variables. It sets up various functions like parsing out my Git branch. So if you use Bash or whatever you're using, just make sure and take some time, read into these configuration files and set up whatever you think works for you because it's going to save you a lot of time. Even if it saves you typing less characters, it's going to help. All right. And also, similarly, we have or I have a different one for Git. So if you use Git, Git's a source control tool, and I have a bunch of aliases for my Git environment. Pretty much what it does is combines commands, so I type less and just overall helps my workflow. So you don't have to look at the text too much. It's not important, but the major thing I wanted to show you guys here is that whatever tools you're using, figure out how they're configured and do your best to make them a little more efficient for you. All right. Okay, my last point for these software developer tips is that everyone should invest in some proper and even paid for software development tools, whatever it might be. So right here, this is uh, Sublime Text 2. And I've been using this, you know, for a while. Um, it's pretty good. But pretty much what this lets you do is like, even if this tool cost me 50 or 60 or $100 to buy, you should invest in some of these tools to make your lives a lot easier. This is just a random project I've opened up here, but you don't want to be opening up random text files or using notepad 
plus plus to view these things just invest in a good text editor or IDE customize it and it's just gonna make your lives a lot easier all right um, what's another one I have uh, this is another tool I like this is called Postico I think it costs maybe a hundred dollars but pretty much what this allows me to do is save a bunch of connections to various Postgres databases that I work with very often from production staging to local environments so if I want to just connect to a database that saves all the info for me um, you can go inside each one and see the schema see the rows you can check out indices that you've made to make sure it's all proper um, all in all this is just a really cool tool and the alternative to this is potentially doing this on the command line uh, the major point I just want to show everyone is that invest in some tools like these because there's developers out there that all they do is build these tools to help our lives so other people in the world are making these tools to make our lives easier and we should use these tools you know because it definitely helps a lot um, this is just one that I use to check out the database every now and then and I need a new version of it all right um, all right guys I hope this video doesn't get too long I'm not even sure how it's going to be received but it's just something new I'm trying um, if you like this video just let me know if you have any ideas for maybe more screencasts I'd be help I'd be happy to do some more screencasts of my computer um, for any developers out there I just hope some of these tips and tricks were helpful all in all it's just make your environment as efficient as possible all right um, hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys next time all right later